Okay guys, today we're back in Renville. This is the city hall right here. But the thing I wanted to show you guys is this is called the Renville Hanging Tree. So back in the day, the jailhouse was behind the city hall and they would basically, if you was convicted, they'd just bring you out here, stick you on a horse, throw a loose around that tree right there and smack that horse's butt and off you'd go. <laughs> This is where you'd end up in an unmarked grave. And you can tell there's a lot of them that are unmarked. All you have to do is look for the low spots in the ground. I mean, even right here, it looks like there's a lot of them under this, uh, underneath this big tree here. See all the low spots? I mean, it's possible some of the stones got pitched, but I would say they probably hung a lot of people in that town, especially since there was like 11 bars. I'm sure there was a lot of crazy stuff that went on back in the late 1800s. Okay, guys, so I worked my way. I'm up by the schoolhouse now. That's what we were going to do is we're going to go on that further outskirts of the school because Jay's been here a couple times too. So... We're hoping that maybe this would be the section that hadn't been metal detected, but I got a signal here. That's right on the non-ferrous line. It's in the 70s. I mean, it could be like a penny, but it could be a, you know, a, a wore down silver too. I think that's what I'm gonna do because I might don't dig a lot of trash. I think I'm just gonna focus on these good signals. You can hear Jay over there. Actually, I think this is it too. I don't know what it is. You know what it looks like? I mean, to me, it looks like the bolt part of a, a rifle. I'm not for sure. So, yeah. I don't think so. I don't know what it is. It's got a hole right here. Uh, obviously, this top part must be brass, but I'm sure this is the signal. I was thinking it was like the thing for a bolt action. It could still be. I don't know. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I get on something else. Okay, guys, I'm on to a signal. Well, it's kind of loud. It ain't very deep. That's what. I mean, it could just be trash, I guess. That's the reason I thought, because that tree's right here. There it is right there, see it? It's a coin. This is the second coin I found. Yeah, it's probably just a wheat. I can see Lincoln, but I'm pretty sure it's a wheat. It's kind of weird. It was lay laying around on the ground, but it's a wheat penny. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get on another one. Okay, guys, I just dug that weedy over there, but then I come around here, but it, the signal came in at 25, so I didn't know for sure what it was, and here I got another buffalo. So we got us a buffalo nickel. Actually, I found the other one over there where Jay's at. See it? I mean, the best way to clean these up is take a some like a SOS pad and scrub them, and it'll clean up real good. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get on another one. Okay, guys. So I just dug that buffalo. I told Jay I got a buffalo, and he said he's got an Indian. So over there, where that big tree is, is where I dug that buffalo nickel and that silver one. I was here last time, and you can see we're right in front of that school. That's what we're hoping, you know, because like, we know people have metal detected it. We're just hoping we can find something they didn't get. You got a year on it? I can, I can hardly even see it. 
I can see the, it looked like a reef a second ago. Yeah, it's a, it's a wheat. Is it? Son of a... Not an Indian, it's a wheat penny. So we'll get back to you guys as soon as we get on something. Okay, guys, I got something really cool. But it didn't come in like so. Actually, it come in, it was like, like a crappy signal is what it was. But I just dug that buffalo right there. And I got a ring. I mean, it looks like it's got stuff on it. But you can see it's actually bent over. See it? So I don't know if it's like... It almost looks like something like a... Like there's a badge or something on this side i think see what it looks like i think it's a cracker jack toy see how it's got that face on there with a hat on like a cowboy hat that's what i was thinking when i seen this because see this is a badge so this is some kind of like western thing like a little kid's ring from like you know bonanza or something like that gun smoke is what it is ain't that cool cool fine so i'll get back to you guys as soon as i get on something else okay guys so jay redeemed himself over that indian and it looks like he's got a v nickel so his nickel's older than mine can you see it i can tell it's a v nickel it's 19 might be a one or something but he said his came in at 25 too may it could just be from the rain but actually, this is the oldest coin so far found in here is this v nickel. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as we own something else. That's a v nickel. Sweet. Okay, guys, I'm on something. But I'm actually like right behind Town Hall up on the hillside. Well, I kept thinking maybe if there was something going on there, maybe people would sit up here on the hillside to watch what was ever going on. You know what I mean? anything sucks about it. there's like a bunch of junk cars like right underneath me but we went all over where that school is we found a couple old nickels and stuff and some wheaties but we didn't come across any silver so we're just kind of moving around i think jay's still up here but because there's got to be i mean i know people's pounded this but there's got to be stuff here that they mess so i just got to find it See, like that. I don't know what it is, but. I mean, it looks like a coin. I don't feel like one, though. It's a token. I can feel it. It's a foreign coin or something. It says RF5 France. Make this unreal. It's got a hole in it, like it was wore as a necklace or something. But it's real light. I don't know if they would have made. I've never seen one before ever. I think it might. I mean, it says five friends. You see it? So it must be a foreign coin or some kind of token. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get on something else. Okay, guys, I just dug that foreign thing right here. I don't, I'm not for sure if that's a coin or a token. I've never seen one before. Then I, I, so I dug it here and then I swung up here and I got another signal. That's, so this is like practically laying on the ground. can top those can tops come in like a coin but they come in like they're usually ring up like 80. There's something huh ain't that weird man it's a cross look at that guys holy shit you guys seeing that ain't that unbelievable 
It's like, so it must have been something that hung on someone's wall. That's just unreal. I've never found anything like that before. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I honestly, I don't even think, I might have found a couple of crosses, but I've never, this is actually hung on someone's wall is what this is. It's a cross with Jesus Christ on it. Ain't that the coolest thing you ever seen? So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get on something else. Okay guys, I'm up on the hill right behind there, but I found another one of those. I'm pretty sure this is a miner's tag. I'm not positive. I know Jay's found a couple of them. But see what they would do is they'd have a hook so when they went into the mine, they would put this on there. Then if something happened, they know um, 149 was in the mine. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Pretty cool though. Right, let's go see what Jay found. All right. He screamed out silver. Actually, he's already found a like a the top part of a silver spoon or a fork that's marked sterling. And now he's saying he's got a silver that's dime size. What's that ringing in at? Look how it's all kind of funky out here. There. Those are right. 78, 84. That's a mercury. <laughs> So it's a 45 mercury die. That's it. Great find. So he's got two silver. I ain't got shit yet. So I'll get back to guys since we got something else. Okay, guys. Jay's over there. So he found silver and I was doing like I was doing Jim. I was actually headed to him. Like I was going to go up that side with him. And um, I got me silver. I don't know what it is yet. You can see it right there. So mine's old silver. I can't even see it for some reason. Now hopefully you guys can see it. It looks like it's a 1890 something set. I gotta use my phone because actually I put my GoPro up because we were just I figured I could move faster because we were having a hard time finding silver. Pretty cool, huh? So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get on something else. Okay, guys, we're on call it a day. But we worked at it, so we did we both came up with some silver, but we we actually end up metal detecting that hillside. And Jay found two pieces of silver. Hit hit basically both of his was found down that way, and the one I found was down that way too. There's like it's like beside where the steps are. So I'd say if, if you guys come back here, the best thing to do, I'd say metal tech this hillside. Because, I mean, we did find, we found a couple old nickels up there by the school, but we went all over it pretty good. So I'd say if you guys wanted to come somewhere and metal tech, I'd do that hillside and there's probably more silver. So I'll let Jay, and Jay found a ton of crap. I mean, we, I mean, you can see all the trash we dug. Um, he's just going to show you guys his good stuff. So, an old spoon. I'm pretty sure it's an old padlock. A couple of miners' tags, some sort of a, a tag. This is cool. An old pocket watch, real similar to the place that you found that one. Piece of silver. Pretty sure it's part of a knife or a spoon or a fork. Then another just copper harmonica reed. A couple of wheat pennies, a V cent, and my mercury dime. Was it 1945? Okay, guys, and these, this is the stuff I found. This is pretty cool, this cross. I pulled that whole thing out of the ground. Ain't that unbelievable? I'm pretty sure it's something that would hang in someone's house. It's not like a, a grave thing or anything. I'm pretty sure it's something that would hang. If it was a grave, I'd probably just left it there, but I'm going to take it home. And of course, I dug a ton of trash. Then I got these tags, too. And what these are, these are coal miners' tags. And what they do is they have, like, nails hanging there. When they go in the mine, they hang these up. And then if something was to happen, they would know who's in the mine and actually i've only found three of them jay found two of them today but jay's been here a couple other times and he's found how many have you found all together uh, five all together he's found five of them all together then i dug a ton of wheat pennies these are just jefferson nickels i found one buffalo nickel i found this i don't know what this is i don't know if it's a token or it's a coin i mean it's pretty cool either way but it's i'm pretty sure it's aluminum so if you guys know if that's a coin, I think it says it says 19 something. It might be a 40 something. 
And this here, I'm pretty sure this is a part of a, a, a watch too. It's like the lift part, and then the watch would be underneath it. I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, you guys can let me know. And then I found this um, Barber Dime. It's a night, or it's an 1899. I think it's the first time I've ever found a 99. But it's pretty cool. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.